Alright, so uh, today's video is another sort of like mystery box uh, thing from someone I know on Instagram. Um, so full disclosure, this is not sponsored in the sense I got these for free. I paid my way for these. Um, but there is a, I do have a discount code with him, uh, which will be in the bio, uh, Bean5. Um, and I also have a link to his website. Um, and there is a special thing for this video, um, but I'll reveal that at the end. Um, so let's get into this. All right. So he does uh, three different tiers. He does slifer red, rye yellow, oblix blue, as you can tell. Um, as far as what's in them, you'll see when I open them. Um, but the red ra no ra red the slifer red one um is 12 pound the ra yellow 20 pound and then the obvious blue is 30 pound um, and obviously the red will have less than the yellow and the yellow will have less than the blue because obviously you spend more you get more and they are monthly I think if you do ask him, um, you can just get it as a one-off. But um, either way, let's uh, let's get into it. He's wrapped these really well. <laughs> I know I could have. Um, I know I could have done this off camera, but I want it to be as authentic as possible. So, how I get it is how you get it, basically. So, he wraps them really well. It comes in this box. They come in this box. It's actually really nice. I've opened it upside down. And this is pretty cool. It goes to, like, the little extra length to add, like, a sort of custom pictures to it uh, so this will be the slide for red one and I, i'm going to assume that the theme this time is jeweler's kingdom which everyone loves if you like you you have to like jeweler's kingdom but let's get into it so i've got a dice bag which is pretty cool i've never actually had a, <laughs> never had a dice um, for, for the card game oh this is nice See, it's so see-through. I'm going to assume this is from, like, the LDS2 um, one. It's got Harpy, Harpy Lady on it. So that's nice. Then it looks like we get four packs. Uh, we got some ancient guardians. Some Genesis Impact. Some blazing vortex. These are really well wrapped by the way. It's like double layered and then taped. And I really like the fact it's like sort of coloured by the theme. Then we have Code of the Duelist. We'll save that one till last on the um Slifer Red tier. So yeah, now in the Slifer Red tier looks like you get dice. And four packs. As to how um, he works the packs, like what packs you get when, I think it's totally random as far as I'm aware. Um, but also I think it, they'll ha often have stuff from the recent sets at the same time. So we got Star Drawing, Magasus Thru Thruji, 
Drytron Delta Elitis, Before Mage Damage Juggler. I'm not, I've seen that card a few times recently. Uh, <laughs> Magistus Vritra. Invoked Cocytus. And Ninaru Ru. So Magistus Glass Goddess. That's a nice looking card art. Heart-wise. Then we'll do... Ancient Guardians. Be cool if that Glass Goddess had, like, um, a secret or something. That'd be really nice in the secret. So we got... Sulfur Score... Sulfur Chord... Score Sale... Pot of Riches. Everyone loves a pot. Erastic Megapolar. Luster Pendulum, the Traco Slayer. I've seen this card recently as well. It's going to be a good pendulum. You got an Ignite Reload. Damage equals Reptile. I know someone that's played that against me. And Self Accord Elegance. It's quite nice. I've on, I'm not open TCG for a while as well, so it's kind of refreshing. <laughs> I know the last video was, um, not the last one, the one before was TCG. The Fabled uh, a Bank, Fabled Marcosia, Springen's Branger, Arm Dragon, Lightning. Oh, this is a super. Psychic Eraser Laser. Ice Breeze Refrain, Ancient Warrior, Chivalrous Path, Linear Equation Cannon, and Armor Dragon Ritual. And then Code of the Duelist. Oh, this is weird. Go, go, go. Arist Ar Aristera and Dexia. Jane Twinlight. Twilight Sword General. Boogie Trap. Fendred Revenants. R.E.X. And Gesu, the World Chalice Warrior. I have no idea if that's guaranteed, by the way, to get a secret in this set. So I have no idea <laughs> if this is good or not. Um, so I'll find out after the video. Hackworm, Beckham by the World Chalice, and Infinity Patriarch. Either way, I like the art on this. It's really nice. So yeah, that was the Slifer Red tier. So it comes... I've just got it all to the side there. Uh comes with a dice in four packs and the pools i think were decent they're all mostly supers and we got a secret at the end so it, if whether it's guaranteed or not i i enjoyed it so i think for 12 pound a month to get four packs you know you're that's just like that's just less than four pound a pack which is actually a pretty good pretty good deal so if you just want something to open every month and you're not after anything in particular i think sly for it tier uh, which is 12 pound by the way is actually really really good value for product obviously the luck in your pulls is different it's always going to vary but in terms of product value that's really good i think that tier's definitely worth it for sure and now we'll do uh, the uh, raw yellow tier is your raw yellow tier and this is the artwork for raw yellow so obviously you got raw then there's pegasus and two some skull and two blue eyes and obviously like i said before it's jawless kingdom themed so so we've got another dice bag i quite like the dice to be honest and so this one's blue oh we got the blue eyes dice 
if it focuses. That's cool. I, re I really do like these dice. The fact they're see-through. And they feel nice. I know it's just it might not be a big thing to any of you, but I really appreciate that sort of thing. Well, it looks like we've got quite the upgrade on this one. Let's just get it all open. So we got plays in Voltex. We got Ancient Guardians. Got another Ancient Guardians. Another Code of the Duelist. Oh, the blazing vortex. Genesis Impact. I like the art on this pack, it's nice. Circuit break, it's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever opened circuit break. And finally we have Fists of the Gadgets. So all in all we got one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight packs for um, raw yellow tier, which is twenty pound for the raw yellow tier. So you get eight packs and a dice there, which you can see. Um, so definitely, it's less than four pound a pack. Again, it's just eight pound more than the slifer tier. And you get four more packs. So it's not even like double the price of the Slifer tier for double the stuff. It's just £8 more for four more packs and dice. I, I don't know if the dice is random or not. But I'm going to assume it is. Um, so I'm assuming the, the dice don't correlate to like the tier you get. Right, so we've got two of those, and then everything else is just a single pack. Right, let's start with the Code of the Duelist, just because I want to see if a secret's guaranteed. And you're probably screaming at me in the comments and stuff. But yeah, 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 it's guaranteed. But I don't have a clue. So we've got World Legacy Landmark, World Legacy's Heart, Galaxy Worm, Zombina. Well, that's pretty cool. World Legacy Discovery and Heavy Storm Duster. So you're not guaranteed a secret. So that must have been a pretty decent pull then. Stack Reviver, Rev from Dread Origin, Deform Pal, Trumpanda. I like the art for that. That's cool. That. Right, let's get into the ones we've got two of. Let's go Blazing Vortex. I do know a friend of mine also got these, by the way, and pulled like a, I think it was, is a collector's rare? 
maybe not in this set because I can't remember if Blade and Vaulted Towers it might have been one of these two I can't re really remember <laughs> which is kind of newbie of me so we've got Spring the Iron Dash Dragon got Negri, the Dream Mirror Disciple Machina Machina and Cluster S4 Showdown Windwitch Chimes Ange Archfiend Staff of Despair, Arm Dragon Ritual, Dream Mirror Recap, and Warrock Skyler. Art for that's nice, I like the art for that. Let's do Blazing Vortex again. Nick the card on the back. Springin's Rocky, Springin's Branger, Sprint the Iron Dash Dragon, Knight of Armor Dragon, Parametal Foes uh, uh, Zortless, Pend Pendulum Fusion, it's kind of cool, Dogmatica Genesis, Springin's Blast, Archfiend Staff of Despair, and Warrock Corpus. So far, we've got uh, better pulls out of the lower tier. Resolve Cord Dreamier. I really do like the art for these, this new archetype. Erratic Mega Bliss. Snake Rain. Magister Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer. Resolve Cord Musica. Dino Wrestler. Prankatops. And the Ogodic Dark. <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce that first bit. Too difficult. Give up. Get another Inch and Guardians. Alright, so I got a Prankatops at the start. Ignisto. Prominent, the Blasting Draco Slayer, Wavering Eyes, Rise of the Snake DAA, we've got another Lost of Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, Evil Dragon Anasha, Erastic Polari. Oh, we got the Ultra. Didn't even realise. Yeah, we got an Ultra, that's nice. I like the art on this, especially because it's also a Synchro, it looks cool. Right, so we got we got more than a super, which is good. Got this is impact. Nightmare Griffin, Tritron Bait, uh, Rastaban, Invoked Magelica, Magtius the Urgy, Endymion the Magistus and Mastery. Before Mage Damage Juggler and another Glass Goddess. And let's do Fist of the Gadgets, so why not? It's a bit warped, these ones. So all the sets, I'm assuming. You know, either way, it's an easy fix. We got Brotherhood of Firefest Cardinal, Defcon Bird, Latency, Armor Phage Electric, and we got Fire Formation Engine. This is a set I know you get a secret at the end. It's like um, sort of Cecil. And last pack for this tier, Circuit Broke. Defect Compiler, World Legacy Pawns, Nimble Beaver, and this guy is normal summon you can special some. Ah, okay, I was just reading that because I play Melfi's and it's a level 2 beast. Temple of the Mind's Eye, 
Metaphys, Tyrant Dragon, and number 41, Paguska, the terribly tired tapir. Do like the art for that, that's cool. World Legacy and Shadow, Altergeist, Cyber's Beacon. <laughs> so all in all, we got an old trainer secret, which I think is pretty good. And you got eight packs for £20, which is, again, a pretty good deal, what can I say? Uh, I don't think the luck was with us as much on this one. Uh, but obviously that's not uh, tier dependent, that's just my bad luck. <laughs> but yeah, no, you get a dice bag, eight packs, £20 for the middle tier. And then we got Obelisk Blue. And have so much rubbish everywhere. Right, here we go. Of course, Kyber. Where else is it going to be? So we've got Obelisk, Kyber, Blue Eyes. It's not really focusing that well. There you go. And it's his um, Jawless Kingdom outfit and all of that. Pretty good attention to detail, I must say. So, if I, can, if I can get the dice bag open, see what dice we got. Oh, this one's not see-through, but it's nice. We've got the um, Kyber Core dice. It's clean, that. I don't know what it is about dice, but dice just look, just look great. This one's thirty pound. Let's see how many packs we get. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this tier is ten pound up from the last tier, and you get four more packs. So, with the Slifer tier, you get four packs. With the Rata, you get eight. With the Oblix one, you get 12. It goes up in fours. And each one, you get a dice. But, as I say, I'm not sure if the dice is random or not. Um, so, I just want to be clear on that. Ancient Guardians. Genesis Impact. Ancient Guardians. Cut out the Jewelist. Blazing Vortex. Circuit Break. We got another Blazing Vortex. Oh, God. Drop the pack. 
cut of the duelist again. Looks like we might be getting two of each. Don't quote me on it. Ooh. Phantom Rage. I haven't got that one yet. Fist of the Gadgets. We'll do Fist of the Gadgets first because you're going to the secret. Oh, we got a dual overload pack. That's nice. A bit different. And finally, we have. I have no idea what this one is. I think it's Genesis Impact. Yeah, Genesis Impact. Right, so uh, first of the gadgets. Well, Cynet Conflict, Cynet Optimization, Gold Gadget, we've got to love the gadgets. Brotherhood of the Fire for Spirit, and Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior. Which is different. Nice art on this one as well. Alright, let's go. Mm. Let's go circuit break. We got Crawler Gleo, Duck Dummy. I don't even know, Recital Starling, Lunar Light, Crimson Fox, One Time Passcode, oh we got an Ultra, nice, Mega, no, Magna Rocket Dragon, got Solder Dragons, Sniffer Dragon, and Mech and Phantom Beast, Beast, right, and I don't know, we got a, an Ultra, That's cool. I mean, it's always cool to get a higher rarity card. Let's go uh, Phantom Rage. I have opened some Phantom Rage, and um, as you saw in my last mystery box one, um, I don't think it was the best for me, so let's hope for better luck. Virtual World, Shushi GG, Hainzumi Hanbi, Virtual World, Kirin Lily, Tri Brigade, Rugal, the Silver Shower, and Joel Avatar Fate, Koku. So it looks like we just got a super on this one. Tri Brigade Revolt, Infinity of Paranoia, Rocky for Hire, and 108. <clears throat> Let's do Joel Overload. I've not opened any Joel Overload for a long time. So we've got a Madolce Pudding Zest Chocolat Mode, Blackwing, Sephiroth the Elite. I know someone that likes Blackwings. We've got Angrascum Umbrella, King Yo Suki, and Super Vehicroid Stealth Union. Good art on this. I have no idea if any of those were good. Um, but they're all hollow, aren't they? So... Can't really go wrong. We'll do Code of the Jewelers next. Looks like we got some print line damage on the back of this one. Oh, damage or whatever you want to call print lines. Uh, we've got Zombina, FA Sonic Mice, Jack Wyvern, the Motivating Captain, and Ip the World Chalice Priestess. F.A. Down for Saint and Gear Golem or Pound Stat Reviver Gravity Lash. Uh, 
Vendred Revenant, Speed Drive Passing Glider, Launcher Commander, Pulse Mines, Reco the Light Sworn Fighter, and DDDD Wave Hiking Kaiser. Visat to Trendy Understudy, Twilight Twin Dragons, and Predator Plant, Banking Sioga, or something. <laughs> Um, Blazing Vortex. You got Digital Bug, a Registrider, Knight of Armor Dragon, Fairy Archer, Inguda. I like the art on this. Spring and Spador. I got a Warrock Fortio, Azar. Hello, Warrock Skyler, Pendulum Encore, Steel Star Regulator, here in S4 Specimen. Not bad. The Blazing Voltex again. So we got Spring the Iron Dust Dragon, Knight of Armor Dragon. Every metal phase, Amalagum, I think Guina, and Psychic, Razor Laser, or Pissed. Enforcement of the Armored Troops, Ice Freeze, Rebrain, and Virtual World Gate, Shuan Wu. <laughs> Ancient Guardians. Not the best luck so far, I don't think. Erratic Megatonus Calling Damage equals a Reptile uh, Dianoster Power the Mighty Draco Slayer Or self called Dreamia There's like a s I don't know if you can see it there It's like a slight foiling Issue over the M there Wavering Eyes And Erastic Departure Genesis Impact Invoked Magalinka Evil Twin Present Invoked Coik Coctius Triton Delta Alatis, Nightmare Griffin, Cynet Progression, and Farm the Magistus Divinity Dragon. Let's go Genesis Impact again. Drytron Meteor Shower, Cyburst Gadget, Extra Foolish Burial, Star Drawing, Before Mage Damage Juggler, what's that? We only got a super, Number 96 Dark Miss, and Crowley the Magnus of Grimoires. And then to end off this video, we got Ancient Guardians. Let's hope for. Better luck. We got Light Serpent, King of the Feral Imps, Sulfur Cold Musica, Trade In, Evil Dragon, Ananta, Viper's Rebirth, and so I get a pendulum, a sulfur cord, and jellia. Great art, but only a super. So, <laughs> overall, pull wise, we didn't do great. Uh, we got a secret in the first box, which is a £12 tier, which was good. 
because they're not guaranteed. Uh, we've got a secret and an ultra in the raw, uh, with the secret being a guaranteed one. And we've got some ultras. Uh, one ultra wasn't guaranteed. And a secret, which we were guaranteed. So, just to do an overview, the Slifer Red tier is £12, four packs, dice. The raw yellow tier is £20, eight packs, dice, as you can see there. And then the Obelisk Blue tier is £30, 12 packs, dice. And so, yeah, overall, despite my luck, uh, sucking really bad, which is not a big deal. Uh, I think it's really good product value. If you want something um, regular, um, but you're not really sure sort of what you want set-wise, or if there's anything else, do you want something specific, I think this is really good, just like the last one. It's really good for product value. Um, these are more like pack-focused as well than the last one. Obviously, you get the dice as well, just like you'd use for dueling and stuff. Um, and obviously, the other one had uh, like a sticker pack and um, a little ornament thing. Um, so, yeah, this one's more pack fake. So, if you want packs, not sure what you want to get, either one of these tiers is good. If you want a lot of packs, Obelisk Blue. If you just want. A little thing every month obviously a slifer red tier is good and then if you want something in between raw yellow uh, personally i i would probably go for i'd say uh, i don't know I'd, i think i'd switch between raw yellow and obelisk blue uh mostly but <laughs> we had the better luck in this opening with the slifer red tier but anyway, that was the opening. Uh, but there is one more thing, a couple more things to mention. I'm not sure if I mentioned it at the start of the video. These release on the 24th of May. So you still have time to pre-order. Because uh, he did send me in these early. They're all ready to go. He knows how much he's got available. Yeah, but they released on the 24th of May. And for anyone that orders one and messages him and tells him that Bean sent you, so me, Jerry Bean, Bean, so tell him that Bean sent you, um, you will get an extra pack with whatever box you get. Um, so yeah, that's the little promo for this video and an incentive for you guys. Um, so yeah, that was the opening. Overall, very good product value. Um, a good variety of packs. Obviously, you get more variety the higher the tier. And you get dice with it. Can't complain about dice. <laughs> Thanks for watching.